life, life, oh life, blessed days and pleasant nights. Now with Almighty's power at work within us, and the masses now set in our rear view, we set out to establish our roots in perseverance, and to do this, we must find our footing in the very ingredient prior used in our inception, nature. Now seated here watching this beautiful and oh so calming relaxation video, it is easy to get lost in the dips, rises and turns plus all the uneven undulations that play right before my vision. Yet still, even a blind man would not miss the waves of undulating imperfections that so seamlessly merge into each other, creating a flow and even wave of beauty. Call it the perfection and tincture of technological advancement. That is, with the advent of drawn photo and videography, but please, don't miss the point in the truth split right before your eyes. The truth that it is through wisdom and an understanding that cannot be of this world, a breath and will of the Almighty, that only can a man or woman's mind open to their invention of such classic work. Yet this is no photo or videography class but just a snippet into the truth of who we are. A reflection and glory of the Almighty graced by the love and sacrifice of his Son. And it is say that he who has the Son, the same has a testimony. Anyway, wonder not why I say this, for as this same lengthy yet seamless video plays before my eyes, I am caught up in its dropping forests and heavy set canopies receding into rugged valleys and yet embraced with flowing streams and falling into rapid falls downhill. The same rainforests ever so lush from the cold mountainous ranges suddenly get seized into a broken and deserted semi-arid and then so arid terrains. With some getting swallowed up into the oases and others braving through dune formations and scorching evaporations to cut through the gaping deltas, finally letting into the oceans and seas. A masterpiece indeed, a masterpiece, a work of art worthy of ululations and salutations, an uproar of standing ovation while it an orchestra presentation. But no, this is the handiwork of the Almighty, who so formed you and I. But before us he laid a foundation of knowledge and wisdom that we must first learn through if we are to overcome the turmoils of life. It is all set in nature. So for all those who find nothing to fancy, Renate, take a moment and embrace the truth. Look at the wild beasts of the Mara, for example. Quite a spectacle they create as they cross through the gruesome Mara River down to the Serengeti. Have you ever seen a single animal refuse to cross over to the lushness across despite the peril of the months-long hungry crocodiles within the river? These are always waiting for a bonanza of food. Now such is life and nothing by any chance should ever deter our trail. Did you for a moment think that the tread of life would for even a split second be an easy terrain? Well, the opposite is quite true, as just as nature itself is born from imperfection and flows through a grip of taunting flips, yet pushes on through without relenting and in its wake makes sure it leaves a mark of awe in trails of breathtaking landscape. So are our lives. 
And just as nature must we walk through life not looking back to see our failures, but forging forward, knowing that our imperfections in terms of failures mark a breathtaking trail of lessons for those learning after our trade. We also must remember that just as beautifully was nature, no matter the harshness of the conditions present, must we too leave behind the beauty of sand dunes for persons to enjoy amazing desert sunsets of nostalgia and long stretches of open bare land for the play of clouds of fireflies and dance of termites as well. For in the scars we encounter along this trade is resilience built for ourselves and yet memories of encouragement for most others behind us. So as I watch the misty soft clouds rise up over the dark forest heads is my heart filled with unending joy. A joy that roots not from pleasures but hails from the scars I encounter along this tread of life. A tread neither I nor you chose, yet one presented to us as a gift. And I realize that the joy in gifts lays not in keeping it hidden under the dark bed, but is most cherished in its exposure and showing it and sharing it to those around us. A deeper sense of truth comes up yet, that just as nature pushes through, so a we destined to do in this walk of life, now sketching through every moment and breath we take. Difference and even more beauty is the knowledge that the same one who spins and plays nature is not only in control of our lives but also takes residence within us. At this point hence, my heart and mind takes comfort in the truth that whatever this tread of life sketches our way, we will emerge victorious if we hold on and not give up for whatever reason. I also know that even when we slip and fall, there is one who is righteous enough to raise us up. I mean, if he could raise the dead from sleep, how about lifting up one who is fallen? Now learning from our point of inception, my dear traders, we see a mold from earth, dirty and unpleasant, yet whose results turn magnificent as both nature, you and I, but you and I with the breath of the Almighty. A full knowledge of this truth downs home that the tread stands difficult and so treacherous. Yet impossible is a far cry, a term of the feeble and believing minds and of those who lose all sense of living. Life hence has to remain for the living. And to live then means that you cannot give up. Now until next time my dear traders, I want to believe that we traded and learned through the floor of nature in this fourth episode of Never Give Up and that we can now face the strains and obstacles that come ahead of us with the heart of a lion, the wisdom of a serpent, and the resilience of an eagle. Stay blessed and stay safe. Never give up. Paper, the sketches of life.